Welcome back guys. Today's video I'm just going to go over SPACs and uh, how I've made so much money on them in the last four or five months, almost risk free. So I figured this out a while ago. There's, uh, there's a different way to IPO nowadays because IPOs are very difficult and uh, they're very like, there's a lot of volatility in IPOs. So a lot of companies prefer going the SPAC route. First of all, what's SPAC? stands for is just a special purpose acquisition company and uh what they do is they just raise cash by issuing shares to investors so they have a, ra a round of funding to investors where they issue units at ten dollars so that's why everyone says the floor on SPACs is ten dollars because when they raise the cash basically this company is nothing it has it has no value at all it's literally just cash from investors so that's why it, $10 is usually the floor on these. Even if they do go below $10, they'll go they'll go under for a little bit, but they won't stay under $10. And yeah, so I'm going to go over a couple of SPACs that I really like right now. What you want to be looking for in these SPACs is you want to get it as close to $10 as possible. And you want a great management team. You want someone that knows what they're doing because if they're going to merge with a solid company, they have to know what they're doing. And one of my favorites right now is this FRX, which is uh, it's a newer SPAC. It's called the Forest Road Company. The reason I like this SPAC is one, because it's only 1055. The price of it is only 1055, which means you have 55 cents of risk. No matter how much money you put in or how many shares you buy, the most you can lose on any one share is 55 cents. And then obviously you can see like these things tend to go crazy. All of Jumut's packs have taken off. They go from 10 to 30 to 40, whatever. Just depends on what company they merge with. And then this FRX, the reason I like it so much, as you can see here, Shaq's part of it. And they have former Disney executives. Obviously the people that worked at Disney know what they're doing. And then Shaq is a very underrated investor. I think he learned his investment strategy through Jeff Bezos, he was saying. So obviously, you know, he's, he knows what he's talking about. And you have right here, so Shaq was also an early investor in Google. Also in Ring Central, RNG. I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's a great company now. Huge stock. He owns a bunch of franchises, uh, restaurants, Papa John's, board of directors. And then the people he's on with is the Disney guys. They're former executives from Disney. And they used to be chief financial officer. So he knows everything. Like he's the CFO of Disney for 12 years. So he knew what he was doing. Then you have also the vice president of Disney. The ex-vice president of Disney. Then you have this guy that was also a vice president before him. So obviously it's a very strong management team. The price is really good on it right now. I think um, they're trying to merge into some kind of tech company, but at this point it doesn't even really matter because it, uh, like I said, it's only 55 cents risk. Like that's all you can lose on this stock. So just pile some money into here, leave it alone. It is a longer term play because no one knows when they're going to merge with a company. But yeah. All right, guys, I'm back. My bad. I spilled some. My dumb ass spilled some uh, coffee on my white sweater. So I had to go change real quick. And yeah, so we finished off talking about FRX. Now I'm gonna move on to uh, my second favorite, which is uh, FCAC. It's this one right here. So as you can see, it's a little more risk than FRX right now. Just because there has been some rumors about a company that this one's going to merge with. I haven't really looked into it yet. But it's sitting at 1175 right now. So you have a dollar and 75 cent risk because, again, it cannot go below $10. Like you see right here, it dipped below $10 for it dipped to 997, but immediately went right back up. So what I like about this one is obviously there's a little more risk than the FRX, but why I like this one even more than FRX is because the people that are the management of this one, the management of this one is a guy named Alan Munchen. 
And what he did was he's already done two SPACs that have been highly successful and I've traded both of them before. So he has worked at Bear Stearns and Goldman Sachs, but after that, he started this Eagle Equity Partners where they raise cash for SPACs. And what they do is, what they have done already is DraftKings. Everyone knows DKNG is flying. And he also did Skills, which was FIAC. I also had this one. And I'll just show you. So obviously, you know, it's at 1175. So this is what DKNG looks like, as you can see. Oh, still got my fibs on there. Yeah, so DKNG, as you can see, started at 10 bucks. This is the SPAC that he had. So it just sits around, sits around, then it gets a rumor, it gets a pop. And then obviously when it gets, when it merges. So again, another thing on SPACs is you want to be in at the $10 floor. You want to catch this whole run up. And then when they actually merge, it's a known event. So it's sell the news. So usually before the merger, I'll get out of these things. Just like here, obviously you can see right away. It had the rumor, it had the pop. And from $10, it went all the way up to 1950, 950. That's almost a hundred percent gain on equity just sitting in there and like no risk. It can't go under $10. If you bought this one at $10 and it goes to 1950, you made 900, like 95% on your equity without any risk. And then the merger happened and it dumped. That's what, oh, that's what usually happens. A merger happens and then they dump. And then obviously people get a hold like DraftKings is actually a solid company. And look at this. It's just now it's trading at 5630. And I think it goes much higher from here because it has broken this resistance. But anyways, back to SPACs. That's why I like this FCAC a lot. And then my last SPAC and also my favorite right now. It's the one that I'm... I have the most money in is this ZNTE, Zanit Acquisition Corp. The reason I like this one so much, I'll just show you right now. So this this is the management team. He's a 40, 40 year aviation industry veteran, whatever you guys can read it yourself. He was also on like Fox News and you have Steven Rosen, who is like, he worked at Resilience Capital Partners. I don't know if you guys know about that, but you should look it up. And right here, it's a blank check company. It's a SPAC, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We already know what SPACs are. And who they're merging with is this company called Lilium. So Lilium makes electric air taxis. So this is really futuristic stuff. Like, look at this. And they already have a bunch of stuff in place for themselves. So I just want to show you, like, when you're investing in the stock market, the highest, the companies that run the most are the companies for the future, not the companies that are making money right now. It's the companies that are going to make a lot of money in the future. So why I like this one so much, obviously, there's a little more risk here. It's $12. So this, is, this one has the most risk out of the three that I've shown you. But also, I think this one has the most upside because, so yeah, this one's at $12, like you see. So $2 risk per share, whatever you buy. I was telling everyone to buy here and here. So there's less risk at those times, but now it's sitting at $12. You have $2 of risk, which is not a big deal for, in my opinion, because I'll show you another company that I'm invested in. It's almost the same sector. Like they're doing the same thing with drones and stuff. And EH, I have this one around $15. So I'm just showing you, like, I bought this one with $15. And e ZNTE is sitting at $12 still. So it's still $3 less. And look at the run this thing been on. Just straight up. And I have no doubt in my mind, Kathy Woods will be buying this as soon as it merges. If it gets Lilium, the company, as a merger, Kathy Woods will buy every share of this, every share available. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you can see all my videos.